if you when you do get to meet my dad one day, make sure you ask him about gym stories. Gym stories are always the best stories. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you have any gym stories? I remember being like the one that always stands up to me is uh, going to my grandpa's for Sunday dinner because my uncle Jim was married to my aunt Ellie, my dad's mm -hmm. sister. So he was my uncle. Yeah. But you'd see my auntie Diana braiding my uh, uncle Davy's hair, doing the actual like cornrow braids. Wow. Do you remember they did that? Of I can't I, before we go on to I love that story. I don't mean to cut it off, but like I just want to point out to all the listeners and Brandon at home, like you got to picture this. This is at Sunday. They're right. running the braids. This isn't some. Right. They're not in yeah. some dressing room like with all the lights and like someone's yeah. just back there like dolling yeah. them up. This is like yeah. getting ready for it at 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 at, at Grandpa Stu's house. That's amazing. Yeah. I That's love awesome. it. Well, my grandpa's house, like I, if I can find a picture, which I will, but it used to be an old military hospital. So, like, if you can envision, like, it was very industrial looking, like, almost like a commercial kitchen. Like, wow. the, even, like, the tiles on the floor and the way that the kitchen was, like, it had the big sprayers, if you're in the back kind of thing, like, doing dishwashing. Um, and they had, like, a big butchering board. So, like, it was very, very, like, commercial style. And so, you have to imagine that's where we would be sitting. And then my aunt's, you know, doing Davy's braids. And then Jim would be sitting there because everybody would corral around my grandpa the same way that I see it today when people crawl around my dad at a, like a dinner table or anything and they start asking him questions about wrestling or what they should do or about their shows that are coming up and like she have wrestlers from various different backgrounds not even just my uncles that are sitting there like there's German guys that are coming in and then there's midget wrestlers that are there and it's like I'm for the longest time, I didn't even know that a midget was an offensive term <laughs> because yeah. well, it wasn't at the time. I mean, that, that just changes. Life. And it wasn't at yeah, the time. It wasn't. It's, it becomes yeah. derogatory over the years. Like we, yeah. we, we, and you just try it real quick on that. We'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll just nip that in the bud too, because it's <laughs> like, like you can't hold it against people too much. If the, you get, we got to read into what the context is, you know, totally. where's, where's your heart at? Yeah. Are you yeah. ignorant to the fact that you can't keep up with everybody changing yeah. changing what the words mean sure yeah. like try to be sensitive when you can and say oh i fucked up i'm not going to say yeah. that again sorry but yeah. like totally. understand where my heart was in when i said it you know what i mean yeah. like it was yeah. a context let's let's, yeah. let's have a little context people yeah fuck it totally. two episodes ago i i said i saw a midget wrestling show i did two days ago they had yeah. one at the yeah. county fair it was great but yeah i called it midget <laughs> it's micro micro is the term now micro right? is the term yeah. now dwarf yeah. and but you know, i yeah. swear like when i talk to the midget wrestlers today <laughs> like there's one named little buffalo <laughs> and he he calls himself a midget yeah. So it's like so it's, it some of them do, thing. some of them don't. Like it just yeah. So it's, it's like you know, it is the contact. You anyway, so you even have so you even have some of the micro micro wrestlers. I'll I'll I'll, I'll say it that way. Uh, <laughs> Johnny is <laughs> as the micro, host, so as the why. host, and I am micro. I am micro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Beans yeah. looked down at me as I walked by. She looked up at her crush and then looked down at yeah. me and was like, uh, "I don't even <laughs> think that guy's in the band." Uh, but yeah. oh my so you're so let's get yeah. back to this story yeah. we're at the at the yeah. at the dinner table you got all sorts of different wrestlers from around the world including uh some of the some of the micro yeah wrestlers. like and then i remember my uncle jim he because he always did he played with his goatee oh, and then finally just being a kid because like i wasn't necessarily scared of him but like usually when my grandpa is talking you listen to my grandpa especially because he was really hard of hearing mm. and so I remember just once I just reached over and it just grabbed. I just had to feel it myself. He let me do it once and then I went in again. He's like, that's the only second time you'll ever get to do that. And I always have remembered that story that like he scared me and then I knew he was just joking. But he was How just. How old were you at a, the time? I had to be like six or seven. Like <laughs> I was, it was very young, young enough to be like, uh oh, did I do something bad? And it's like, <laughs> but still old enough to be like, no, that's your uncle. Like, chill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 